Hello everyone, we are Simply Dessert Company and will be presenting our business e-portfolio. The business practicum of our company is taking order and delivery and the product that we are selling is under the food and beverage industry. As the name suggests, it is pretty clear that we are selling desserts. There are two desserts that we produce and sell, which are agar agar and our best selling product, Sagu Gula Melaka. Our team consists of seven members, which are me, myself, Ali Sharon as the CEO, Shafiq as the COO, Abigail as the marketing manager, Auni and Rabiatul as the operation production, and lastly Dayang and Erna as the finance manager. We also have four main departments, which are marketing department, production department, financial department, and technical department. The platform that we use to promote our product is face is social media platform, which is Facebook and Instagram. Our ma our social media platform inside shows that almost three hundred people have reached our Instagram during our selling period, while Facebook being our backup platform. So that is why we are less active on our Facebook page. However, we have successfully attract more customer under our, under our Instagram platform page. And most of our pre-order customers are reaching us from Instagram page. That is all for uh, for social media insight. The objectives of our group are firstly is to introduce young students uh, to our product. It is proven that most young students haven't had the chance to try some good market. Secondly, we success in achieving more than our targeted total sales which is 1473.70 and lastly is we succeed in maintaining of 70 products to sell per week there are some entrepreneurial experiences we got from this business life for example in order to make sure that our customers love what we sell and build the loyalty with them is by fulfilling their needs and desire for example from our feedbacks and requests where there are customers who would like to have more gula melaka contents in our sagu gula melaka for making it more sweeter which also sweets their taste besides that we also did an upgrade to our packaging from small container to a bigger container due to the request from our lovely customers so that they can enjoy the dessert with satisfaction Besides that, in order to validate our business viability, we also did both physical store and online business to provide facility to our customers so that they can buy our products physically for those who present around the sales area. Other than that, we also experienced customer attractions towards our physical store since we decorated to make it more attractive. Plus, in terms of online business, we ensure that our customer service will serve the customers the best. That's all from me. Throughout the course of our business, Simply Dessert, as a financial manager, I was able to gain a knowledge and experience. One of them is I can gain experience to manage the finance of our business. This is very challenging for me because before, I have never managed finance and it is contrary to my interests. However, after running the business for almost a month, I managed to manage our finance effectively. Finally, I also want to share my experience of working under pressure during face-to-face -face and online business. Sometimes the pressure of work comes suddenly, and this has improved my ability to solve problems spontaneously. Moving on to the next point on what problems we have faced and how we solve them. When venturing into business and being an entrepreneur, the challenges we face while running a business are First, financial challenges. Financial challenges include capital problems, cash flow problems, budget problems, income repayment problems, and others. In order to overcome this, we equip ourselves with sufficient knowledge of financial management that separate business finance from personal finance, then make sure that income and profits exceed the cost and debt of the business. A solid business is a business that has no problem with money leakage. Every financial transaction is properly recorded while the company's account statements match. Next, 
challenges is competitive challenges. Although the product we sell are not the same as other companies, we also compete with them to attract the attention of customers to buy our products. In order to overcome this, we do the right marketing strategy, market the business according to the target group. For example, we make a UMS citizen as our target. Lastly, losing motivation to do business. On the third sale, we start losing motivation to do the business because there was an excess of unsold products on the second sale. This makes us less motivated to do business in the third sale because we are worried that the same thing will happen in the third sale. In order to overcome this, uh, so we motivate each other as a team. The same thing will not happen again if we take action from the past. So, we strain our marketing through social media and adjust this so for me. So, um, moving on for the future plan of our business. So, our team decided to keep our small business going on in the future due to the high demand and support gained from the customer upon our small business product. And especially for our signature product, which is the Sago Gula Malaka, as it is the main attraction menu for our business. Therefore, in the future, we plan to improvise our menu in terms of its sizing, portion, as well as the menu version, such as by increasing the types of desserts or adding new menus into our menu plan. And also, in terms of our product quality, we aim to produce a better products that come with reasonable and affordable prices that suits to our target customers, especially for students. In conclusion, to summarize our presentation and this whole business practicum that we had done, from this business practicum, we had learned and experienced new and interesting knowledge, especially since we are very new in handling a business and to this entrepreneurship world in general. For example, we had gained experience in handling few platforms for our business and how to attract customers. Although we did face some problems and difficulties while handling this business practicum, we did not give up and try to overcome it as hard as we can. Due to the good outcome and fun activities we had experienced in this business practicum, we may continue further with our future plans for our small business. That is all from our group. Thank you.